Think about it. It could be so much worse than a couple of the same sex, yet we curse. We curse them for the love that they feel in their hearts. We curse until their world begins to fall apart. We curse until they lose that gleam in their eye. We curse until all of their tears run dry. We curse until the blood streams out of their veins as they sit up at night screaming in pain, not from the cuts, but from within, because being who they are is considered a sin. Because they live in a world that doesn't understand how it is possible for a man to love a man, how it is possible for anybody to be pan, how it is possible for a woman to love a woman. Now society, listen up. I know it's hard to grasp how someone could differ from the gender they were assigned because it doesn't follow God's design. But gender is in here, not in here. And I can't help that I am this way. I can't help that my gender fluctuates with each passing day. I can't help that sometimes I want to wear guys clothes that people can't tell if I'm a boy or a girl because frankly, even I don't know. I was born this way and that's what matters. But I'm 16. 16 just trying to live my life. Now I'm being told that I gotta fight. I gotta fight for a life with equal rights in a world that's so uptight about a love that they don't find alright despite the fact that it doesn't affect them. I am who I am. I love who I love. Why the hell isn't that enough? Why is it so wrong that your little girl is being treated like a princess by someone who just happens to be of the same sex? Why is it so wrong that your son is actually your daughter, regardless of the fact you're still a father? I'm sorry that things don't always work out as planned. That you can't accept that your son loves another man. That your daughter sings your heart out in the shower over a girl that day who gave her flowers. I'm sorry that you can't see how much this love makes them happy. Let me just tell you. It's not a choice, and I'm not afraid to raise my voice, to stand up for those who can't, from a love shamed because of what's in their pants, to speak out against the discrimination that seems to echo throughout the nation. I refuse to give up, even though it gets tough, because love is love, and that should be enough.